How's it going, guys? It's Yugabyte TCG here. I'm going to be opening up the Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary Edition. I was gone on a trip, and then I had, um, got a little bit of, like, a, uh, a bad allergic reaction to, I'm pretty allergic to, I just say, the earth, as I like to call it, because I'm really allergic to, like, a lot of grasses, so went on a trip and, uh, got pretty, uh, had a pretty bad allergic reaction, but we are good now. Oh, we're finally going to get to see these. You probably have seen a couple videos of these already. I am uploading this a little late, but let's check out. So I have to remember, don't, don't show the back next time. So we got an obelisk, Slifer, Wing Dragon Ra, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and oh my god, that Slifer looks so good. It's a little off-centered, and it isn't the German. There's one that has like the German printing on it. It's not that one. But we'll also go into these packs, so we'll definitely do, let's see, how do we want to do these? That's probably the order I would rank them in. Might be a little controversial. Pharaoh's Servant, if it wasn't for Jinzo though, I feel like that's, that wouldn't be nearly as good. Oh, we get a blast held by a tribute for our first ultra rare. Nice, so what was that? It was... I need to pay attention to the pack trick. Next time, we will pay attention to that. <coughs> Alright. Let's see. These are... A Parasite Barricade? We are having a very good... So it was... So it would be... Four? So it would be four back? Uh, we're not going to do the pack trick. Cause watch us screw it up and then... Uh, we'll just reveal it. So no pack trick. Until I get comfortable with the, because I feel like it was not the same this time. A tuned mermaid. Oh my god, we are having an insane box. Oh my god, the uh, the ratio is great in this one. Not in some of the sets I would have preferred. I mean, tuned mermaid's pretty amazing, but. Hopefully, Invasion of Chaos can do the same thing. No pack trick either, because that has been working pretty well for us. A big burn, super rare. What is going on? <clears throat> we still have a lot to open, too. Also, for my 400 sub special, we're gonna gonna do it this week. Um, I need to recover a little bit more. And a horn of heaven. What is going on? We have. Three ultra rares and two super rares already. What the heck? Um, but I'm going to delay the 400 subscriber special. Um, for me to talk for that long, uh, I think we'd be better off waiting one week. So it'll be next week on Wednesday. Okay, so that was... See, that one did feel different. That was... Okay, that was an LB pack, but we didn't get anything. See, I... I feel like that one had less cards. Like, the pack trick works, but it's like the, the hollow's in a different spot than, like, here, let me try not to expose that. Alright, let's get into this, hopefully. That was open really nice. I didn't want to expose the back card. And we get another Slifer. Okay, that's not the greatest. That one looks a little better, though. All right, let's do the same order, because that really worked really well for us. I don't think we're going to have those kind of hits again. Like, that's an insane mini box. Like, I've never seen one that, that good. Vampire Lord! Oh, my God! So our first Seeker Rare, that is just awesome. I've never owned this card in the Seeker Rare. Obviously, this is a little different than the... Obviously, these do look different. They are printed more to look like modern Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which some people really don't like. I personally think it's kind of cool because it makes it easier to know that you're opening 25th Anniversary, but I also get preferring the old school look. But it, to me, still really cool. So we got a major, right? So nothing in that one. But man, that Vampire Lord looks awesome. I'm hoping we can pull... 
a lot of the cards I've never pulled actually. Like, I've never pulled Blessed Tune. Maybe one I definitely would love to pull. Maybe today. And not in that pack. So this one, I mean, we pulled a Vampire Lord. But compared to the other one, has been a little slower. I mean, you can't even really complain when you're pulling a Seeker Rare. So, I'm just saying. It's slower than the other one. Because we pulled, I think we pulled five Hollows. So that's pretty insane. Reload. Nice super out of IOC. Let's go into Metal Raiders. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Very, very cool. That is just such a good looking card. Man, the hits have been really good today. And I've seen people open this. This is not normal. I've seen there, there's a lot of mini boxes where there won't even be a one hit in the whole box. So we're having very good luck. Let's get Travel Nightmare. You know, Mystical Elf, we just we, uh, went right to it. But that looks so good. I'm sorry, I do prefer the new look. I just think they printed the cards in such high quality. Because I feel like in the reprints, they never printed them to the original standards. So these actually look, in my opinion, much better. I might grade that, actually, because that would just be so sick to have. Man, my next mana grading submission is going to be expensive, because I'm going to be submitting a lot of cards to that. We still have a lot of boxes left to go to. We're not, this this box, once we're opening, like, I hush up, like, halfway, it'll be halfway through. So, I mean, we are, this has been awesome. Okay, don't want to spoil it. Hoping to get all the, I mean, I will. I, I have a case of this still. But I'm hoping we can get, oh, and Wing Dragon around. Hope we can get them all. That'd be really, really cool. And have them all graded in high rarity. Or not high rarity, high grade. Hopefully get them all in 10s. But I definitely want to keep the order we're going in. The order has been working really well for us. Dark Crisis has actually been very good to us so far. Honestly, been very good. Our first Seeker Rare. And there's our first non-hit out of Dark Crisis, which is fine. All right, Pharaoh Servant going to give us the Jinzo. That would be absolutely crazy. I don't have a high rarity Jinzo in my collection. Flame Champion. Maybe this will be the first mini box that we... Uh, I hope not, but, you know, those two mini boxes were really good to start. Spell Roy. This would probably be the set of, I could pick any secret to pull one out of it. It would be the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon out of here. And Snatch Steel Ultra Rare. Nice. I feel like Spell Roy has average ultras, but the secret Rare, obviously, and Blue Eyes Toon is amazing. Toon Mermaid's pretty good, too. And Relinquish. Actually, no, I take that back. Yeah, it does have pretty good ultra rares. Invasion of Chaos has really good Ultra Rares. Has really good Secrets as well. A lot of people hate Invader of Darkness. I really like that card. Uh, Green Maju. That used to be a really good card, but I feel like it's been reprinted so much now. It's not really worth much. And the Metal Raiders. They're, I really like both Secrets. Some people don't like the uh, Thousand Dragon, but I love Thousand Dragon. Ooh, Petit Moth. Uh... Oh, so we had an Armored Lizard. Okay, we specialed into that. Ruxin specialed. His uh, he, his term that he uses all the time. So this has been the worst mini box so far. Maybe this LOB can... And we pull out a Blue Eyes. I mean, pretty much would be the best one so far. Or like a Dark Magician or a Red Eyes. And we get Dark Gray. So that's the worst one so far. I think we only got one hit out of that one. Just the Snatch Steel. So not the greatest... But hey, we still got a bunch of these left. And that kind of shows you that they can be very random. So don't expect to like get insane hits every time. Because these are kind of expensive. So definitely be prepared if you do buy one. It's not like there's no guarantees with these. In a red, bla or red eyes black dragon. I wish I would have picked a different artwork, but still really, really cool. I'm glad we got a new one, not a repeat. Or a repeat. Alright, we're going to go in the same order though, because this has been working very well. 
I'm trying to remember, what's the other seeker in Dark Crisis besides Vampire Lord? I feel like I can't even remember which one it is. Guardian Elma. Yeah, what is the other one? You know what, though? I can't think of what the other secret is in Pharaoh's Servant either now that I'm trying to think. Is it Judgment of Anubis in Dark Crisis? Yeah, that would be it. It's Judgment of Anubis, isn't it? For Dark Crisis. Hopefully we can pull the Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon now. I've seen a lot of the secrets are you pull them quite a bit actually. So this has been a very weak box so far. Hopefully the last three packs can be good. This really shows you like our first two were insane. The last one we did was very average, and then this one has been great so far. And we get dedication through light and darkness. Nice. Very good super. I shouldn't say very good, very cool super. I don't really think any of the, like, some judgment still good, but, like, most of the, if the spell cards in these are not going to be, spell and traps aren't going to be that good anymore. Or they're either too good that they are completely banned. Come on. Sword, shield and sword. And block attack. So this one's been very, very weak so far. Just one super. Can LOB give us... An ultra rare. I would actually rather have an ultra rare than the seeker rares in this set. We got flame manipulator. So we got two of these where you only got one hit. So again, it can be very random. So we got one more. Man, the first box was crazy good. Let's see. We get an obelisk. We have all the gods, which is good. See, now this is one of the ones with the German thing on it. That's really cool. So you, it'll be really hard to see. But it actually doesn't have, like, uh, forget what it should say. But it's in German, which is very, very interesting. Cool misprint. I think it's very, it's too common for it to be, like, worth anything, but it's really cool. Alright, last Dark Crisis. This has been really good to us today, so maybe we can end on a, uh, oh my god, what's the one in here? Exodia Necros, maybe? In Dark Scorpion. So nothing in that one. Let's do Pharaoh Servant now. Can we get the Jinzo? That'd be a crazy way to end on Pharaoh Servant. We get Grave Robber, which is one of my favorite looking traps. Alright, come on. Let's see. Can we get some more hits though? Grave Robber is pretty sick though. <gasps> Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon! Yes! I can't believe it! Oh! <laughs> yes! What a hit! How minty is it? Actually, it looks really nice. I don't think I have a sleeves on me. I'll play, I'll sleeve it when I get, when the video's over. That is so sick! Oh my god, that's one of my favorite secret rares ever printed, so we're going to set that one up there. Man, this has been a really good opening so far. This has been so much fun. So we got Boganian. Man, this has been a really good mini box. Cast end. If we pull anything else, I'll be ecstatic, but... Blue Eyes Tune on its own. Is worth it. Battle steer. Right, 
got Dissolver Rock, Frenzied Panda, Turtle Tiger, Machine Conversion Factory, Carabonilla Warrior, and a Firegrass. That was just awesome opening still. Um, we're going to be opening up a ton of this. Obviously, this is going to be one of the coolest products of the year, in my opinion. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the 400 subscriber special. That'll be next week. Have a nice day.